on guys? I'm out here today at my friend Matt's house and uh, I am doing a shootout between the uh, 350 here and the 250 here. The uh, 350 SXF and the 250 SX. Two stroke versus four stroke. But mainly I'm doing, just doing this because I know a lot of people ask me all the time what bike I like better if I miss the four stroke power now that I've been racing the two stroke for the past season. but. I, uh, I feel like I'm pretty qualified to do this review because I've uh, I've ridden both bikes at least 60 hours each, and I've got a lot of time on both of them. So, and I've raced them both a whole lot. So, not just practice tracks, not just uh, goofing around, but I've actually raced them both almost equally, and I uh, feel like that helps me out to do the shootout. This track is going to be kind of short. I don't think it's going to be particularly biased towards either bike, plus I'm really comfortable here. I've ridden here a lot, so there's not a whole lot of uh, other variables besides the bikes. So the results are in, and it's been a pretty big surprise. I was consistently at least two to three seconds faster per lap on the 350, and the little course that I was doing was only about a minute long, and uh, the 350 was the only one that I was that was able to break under a minute, and. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty surprising. I wasn't really expecting it, but one thing I can say is the 350 tires me out a lot more. And I don't know if that's just because I haven't been riding it this season much and just not used to it, or if it's really just because it's heavy. I mean, it does feel heavy, but it, it tracks so well coming out of corners. And like there's, as you've seen in the GoPro videos, there's like some really abrupt uphills and that was, where the four stroke really shined. The two stroke I felt was more nimble in some of the tighter areas, but it lost it lost the advantage when it came to accelerating out of corners and stuff like that. And I guess that's where it lost all the time. Pretty surprising considering uh, the amount of time that I've had on the 250 lately, but that's why I did this test. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about how I tested the bikes and how I got the lap times. I gave myself two laps on each bike before I went out and did four lap sprints. And during the four lap sprints, my mom was taking lap times on her iPhone. So, um, but she had, you know, a really good start and stop point. And, uh, but like I said, I gave myself two laps. Each time I got on a different bike, I gave myself two laps of getting used to it and then did four sprint laps. So, I mean, it was the same for each bike. There weren't, no bike was given more time or anything, so. Um, the, four, the, the 350 clearly won and uh, 
I'm really surprised by that, as I talked about before. But um, one thing I will say is that the 350 tired me out more, which I already said in the previous stuff. But uh, I think that's kind of just because I haven't been riding it. And, uh, but I, I do think the 350 is not going to be better all of the time, just some of the time. And for long races, I really do think that the two-stroke is sometimes a better choice. And I mean, obviously, I think that that's why I'm racing one currently. But the uh, the 350 is still a great bike, and if you're a four-stroke rider, then ride the 350. If you're a two-stroke rider, then ride the 250. That's really all that I can say. And if you if you have the chance, ride both and decide which one you like better. But that's my opinion, and. Uh, I hope that this helped somebody out there, so thanks for watching. Peace.